right. Hello. I think I am live. Um, first time using Zoom through Facebook Live. So getting all of this set up, thought I'd log on a couple minutes early and give people some time to get here. Um, so go ahead and comment. If anyone could comment and just tell me maybe how many viewers you see or if you can hear me okay. All right, so if you're just getting here, hello and welcome to Visibility Part One, Marketing Your Organization. Um, it's just one o'clock now, so I'll give people some time to get here. Um, my name is Kelly Chambers. I work in student engagement, um, living that work from home life today um, and every day for right now. So I'm um, super excited to be doing this with you all. Um, if you are here, if you can go ahead and just comment your name. I guess it'll say your name, but go ahead and comment um, which organization you're with and what your role is. Um, awesome. Danielle, great. I'm glad you can hear me. Um, Danielle, what group are you with? Oh, and there's a little bit of a lag. I'll get used to that. Um, okay, well, since we're confirmed, we are confirmed. Y'all should be able to hear me okay, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm super excited to be talking with you all today about um, visibility and how to market your organizations. Um, super important topic right now. I know y'all are thinking about um, just how to recruit members, how to connect with students, how to get um, students connected with you all. Um, you know, they're looking for belonging and, and just to find community during this time. And so um, throughout this presentation, just going to try and give you some some tips and things to get you thinking about how to make your organizations that much more visible so students can can connect with you um, and great awesome Danielle. Um, nice to meet you virtually in this um, video space. So uh, for those of y'all that are here and tuning in, um, this is our five person team Let me move this year. Um, so we've got five person professional staff team. Um, I'm Kelly down here on the left. Um, I've been working at UVA for almost four years now, which is crazy. Um, and we've just, we've got a great team. We love being able to connect with you all. And so you should have received an email earlier this week or last week uh, to connect with one of us. So actually, if, if you've already connected with a member of our team, if you could go ahead and just drop a one in the comment box. We're going to try and make this interactive today so that that helps me um, just see see where you all are at with this presentation and um, just helps get us all talking and engaged during during this live video. Um, so yeah, so please take advantage of an opportunity to connect with us. We love getting to connect with you all and we know this is an uncertain time and want to be able to answer any questions you have and just support you as best as we can. So with that. Um, again, today, so what to expect. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about why visibility is important. Um, so yeah, why is this important to your organization? I'm also going to touch on some things you can be doing now. I know um, with a lot of things up in the air and you're still waiting for answers on space reservations and all sorts of things. Um, sometimes I know that can feel paralyzing. I think I felt a little um, uncertain on what to do and certain on some days more than others, but this is going to be a great list of things you can start doing now just to get your organization ready and contingency planning and and all the things. Um, so I'll touch on that and then we'll have some time for Q&A and talk about resources. 
Um, great, Joshua, Ralph, Morgan, so great to have y'all here. Um, thanks for commenting a one. I'm glad you're already connecting with members of our team. That is awesome. Ralph, I think I emailed with you earlier this week, so I think we'll be chatting soon. So looking forward to that. Um, and if y'all could remind me which groups you're with in the um, comment box, that would be great too. Just so I can keep track of who's here. Thanks y'all. Uh, okay, so um, while we're continuing to kind of see who's here and keep engaging, um, how many of y'all have heard of Simon, Simon Sinek? Um, he wrote this book called Start With Why. Go ahead and drop a two in the comments if you've heard of him or heard of his book or he has a TED talk that I highly recommend. Um, Awesome, Morgan is with the Environmental Science Organization. Ralph is with Frank Batten. Danielle is with the Monroe Society. Great, thanks y'all. Um, and yeah, go ahead and drop a two if you've heard of Simon Sinek. Awesome, yes, he's wonderful. Um, highly recommend his TED Talk. Um, I have not read the full book, but the TED Talk is great. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about why visibility is important for your student organizations. Um, let's see here. So, you know, questions to ask, you know, why do you care about the visibility of your org? You know, how, the how would be, how are you gonna make yourselves visible? Basically, Simon Sinek says that it's, it's good to always start with why before you jump into action with things. So why do you do what you do and what's the purpose? How do you do what you do? And then what do you do? What are you gonna do with that once you really understand your why? So for why behind uh, visibility within your organizations, um, you know, good to ask, you know, well, why, why is the visibility of your organization important right now? How are you going to make yourselves visible and market your organization and connect with students? And then what are you going to do to make it happen? What are some of those tangible action items that you can take? And so we're going to touch on all three of those things a little bit. Um, and so I wanted to touch on, oops, here we go. More on the why. So I think one of the biggest reasons, number one why for uh, making sure that your group is as visible as possible is gonna be to foster belonging and connection. I mean, if you think back to when you were a student and looking to get involved, um, you know, why, why were you looking to get involved? I bet one of the number one reasons was to connect with others, to um, find belonging, to find community and you know, this is so key right now uh, with a global pandemic and uncertainty about the fall and what classes and clubs and social activities will look like. Students are really looking to, to connect, really looking to find community. And this is where you all come in. You all are established. You've got great organizations. And um, so, you know, whatever you can do to kind of put yourselves out there and, and talk about who you are personally and what your organizations are about. Um, is gonna give students a great opportunity just to connect with you and you're gonna be able to foster some of that belonging and connection early on. And that's gonna just make their, make their UVA experience. Um, and so also, you know, building your brand, making yourselves visible on at UVA and social media and all the places is gonna give you that much more credibility long-term. Um, it builds trust within the community. People know who you are and what you're about. And, and the longer people know that over time, you kind of build your alumni base and um, just kind of solidify yourselves as an organization. So I'm gonna give you some tips too today on just you know, how, to, how to solidify that brand and just staying on top of, of your mission and getting, getting all of that out there. And then last but not least, um, making yourselves visible as, as visible as possible is also gonna further your mission, right? So whatever your mission is, um, making that known is gonna lead to finding people who are passionate about your mission. They wanna connect with you because of what you're passionate about. And that'll bring in new people with fresh ideas, whether they're incoming students or whether they're um, current students just looking to get involved with new things. So that's only gonna make your group stronger and help, help your group 
reach your goals and, and further your mission. And so these are all, you know, good general reasons for why, why visibility is important. Okay, and so these are a few other great questions to ask yourselves. Um, and I would really, you know, encourage you to think critically about these um, because sometimes the first thing that come to, comes to mind is not always um, it. Uh, so, you know, ask yourselves, why would students want to join your group? Like, what is it that they're, what, that they're looking for? I mean, I'm sure they'll connect with your mission in some way, shape, and form, but they're also going to connect with you as individuals. So, you know, ask yourselves why, why they want to join your group. Um, why did you want to join the groups that you're currently involved in? Um, how did you get connected to organizations? You know, what, what were all the ways that you heard about orgs, you know, through friends and through classes and different ways, and how can you get creative in this new era where things are going to be a little bit more virtual? Um, and in what ways would you like to be reached out to? You know, those are things to think about when you're thinking about how to make your group visible and how to connect and recruit with other students. And then what has been the most you know, meaningful and impactful thing about being involved at UVA for you? And I know these are really big questions, um, but these are just really great things to think about and to reflect on as y'all are preparing to recruit new members and just kind of put yourself in their shoes and, and go from there. So um, I know that was a bit big picture. Um, go ahead and drop a three if you feel like you've gotten some, some good reflective questions you can kind of take back to your group from here. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to transition into what can you do now, what you can do now, um, which I know is great. If you're anything like me and you like a good checklist, um, having a couple of tangible action items is great. And so I tried to break this down while also giving you some, like a good amount of tips here. Um, so let me move my little camera here again. Um, so first, um, and a lot of you have done this already, most likely, but these are just good reminders. So you're going to want to update your groups at UVA profile. So how many of y'all actually like in the renewal, if you can drop a four in the group, if you um, updated, you actually read your description, your group's description and updated that in your renewal process this year. Um, and hopefully you got to do that. If you haven't, I would just you know log back in, go to your organization page, read through your description, make sure it, it fits and aligns with who you are right now. Um, make sure to update the answers to all the questions on your profile, link any websites and social media and all those things. Just, just doing a quick glance through again of, hey, everything's up to date. Our president and primary contact is up to date. Great. Um, so that's that one's key. And then another one, I wanted to point out that a lot of people don't think of is actually uploading your personal photo to at UVA on your profile so that then when they see the members listed on the roster for your group, they'll actually see your faces. And that's just something that can help you be that much more approachable. It's a really easy thing to upload. And it encourages students to reach out to you personally with questions about your organization. So that could facilitate more one-on-one -on -one interactions, um, which I know for me, when I was a student at UVA, um, that meant a lot, just being able to connect one-on-one -on -one with an officer or a president. So um, let me show you if I pull this over here. See how I've got my, my picture up here in the corner? So for, for you right now, it's, it's probably just your first initial of your first name. But if you go here and go to your account, you can, you can choose a profile picture. So I would just encourage you to have all of your officers at a minimum and members too, if they want it, but at a minimum, just have your officers do that. And that's a really small tweak that you can do to, um, 
just to make your, yourselves personally that much more visible and connected to, oh, this is the, um, who do we have here? You know, this is the Frank Batten Investment Fund and this is Ralph and this is literally what Ralph looks like. Oh, cool, this sounds great. Let me reach out to Ralph and, and um, get connected to him and see what else I can learn about the organization. So that's a quick, easy thing y'all can do. Um, I also would encourage you in this day and age with things moving more virtual, um, create virtual flyers, um, advertising your first event or meeting or hangout or whatever that's gonna look like for you. And it's okay if you don't know what that is yet, um, but um, drop a, let's see, drop a five if you've used Canva before. Has anyone heard of Canva? I personally love it because it makes me feel like a graphic designer and I'm so far from a graphic designer, um, but it's a great way to put together quick flyers and things. So um, once you know a little bit more about what you're planning to do for the fall, whether it's some you know virtual events and we'll have guidance soon on um, all the event planning and, and recommendations around COVID and things. But um, once you have some solidified plans of what you would like to do for that, I um, highly recommend creating some flyers through Canva uh, or whatever other means, Photoshop that you wanna do. And then, then moving on to our next one, once you create some virtual flyers, um, you can post a flyer as an event on at UVA. And let me pull, let me pull this back over so I can show you. So if you're on, say, Say I go to Active Minds and I go to Manage Org because I'm the president and then I can go to this. There's two things here I want to show you. So you can go to um, events and news and you can create an event and you know upload your flyer, all the details on it. Students can RSVP for that event. You can also link that event to your Facebook event. So if you tend to do Facebook events, I would just do it in both places and link it. And you know, so you can create the event here and it's got all these options um, and things you can fill out. So just follow it through all the way to the end. You can even link Zoom and all sorts of things in here. And the beauty of this y'all is when once you create it, your event should show up on the at UVA homepage under news. So, so definitely create an event. Um, it gives you more visibility for your organization because a lot of groups don't know about this feature or have just chosen not to use it. And so for those of you that do use it, you are going to get more visibility. We are, we are driving traffic to this site a lot and a lot of incoming first year students are looking here to find an organization directory. Uh, we also have you know, the student org sorting hat, which is a, an even more detailed directory we've created. So highly encourage you to create an event or um, also a news article. So I'll, I'll touch on that too. But yeah, wanted you to know that that feature, that feature is there. Um, and so yeah, continuing that, you can also create a news article, which is very similar. You basically put the same info in for your event and um, it will show up on the at UVA homepage as well. So whenever I'm doing them on at UVA, I create both and it just gives me added publicity and visibility and just puts all my information out there. So, and again, you can link everything to Facebook events and other things you're doing. And so the more of y'all that are using this, um, the more the more that students will see and say, oh, cool, well, this group is doing that and this group is doing that. So a good feature to know about Definitely check that out. Um, can you, oh, here we go. Yeah, drop a six if y'all have ever created an event on, on at UVA. Have you created an event for your group? Um, or if you haven't, just go ahead and comment like, nope, haven't created an event before. That gives me an idea of Kind of what you've what you've done with it or haven't, and so no no harm no foul either, either way. But just just want you to know that that's another option for just getting increased visibility out there. Um, and so next, um, definitely encourage you to plan on signing up for the virtual fall activities fair. 
I've been working closely with student council and they are on the verge of sending you all the details on all the things fair related. So um, they're gonna be hosting one through the at UVA platform that you'll be able to RSVP to. Um, and in the meantime, they're sending, they're gonna send you RSVP information so you can sign up in advance of that. So just stay tuned for details on that. They're also compiling information on other activities fairs and things that are happening across grounds so that it's all in one centralized place. So you will have the option to participate in as much or as little as you want. Um, so you can, and we highly encourage you to participate in the student council activities fair. They've been running it annually. They do a great job. And the one this year is gonna be fully virtual and it's for everyone. So it's gonna be all student organizations They'll have you know, a different structure and try to spread it out over multiple days based on what's gonna work best for you and incoming students. So stay tuned for an email update on that, um, but that's definitely gonna help with increased visibility and participating in the fairs that make the most sense for you. So, um, so just check out the options. They're gonna, they're gonna consolidate everything for you and, um, and let us know if you have questions. You, know, you can email student council or um, you can email me too. I'm at KMC. 2sq at virginia.edu or just email our student engagement. I've got all our info later. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, good to know y'all haven't created events before. Well, now you know. Um, so spread the word, share it with your other CIO friends that y'all can create events there. We're actually hoping to connect it with the space reservation system so that you would book events through there. So anyways, um, it's great for added visibility. So last but not least, um, encourage you to reach out to new students on social media and just increase your visibility on that platform. I'm not gonna go into that today. Michelle's gonna touch on that later this week, um, but just want you to start thinking about ways you can increase your visibility on social media. There's so many great tools there and I'm sure y'all have already tapped into a lot, but you know, social media, connecting, through professors, relevant courses, listservs, or just getting creative and thinking through new ways of how do you market your organizations? How do you connect with new students? Talk to each other, use the Facebook group at, and say, hey, like our group is doing this to reach students. Anyone have any other ideas that are working for them? Um, and I will say too, you know, in some ways, I think a lot of groups wish they could just blast and email, email all incoming students but I think you've got a lot more power than you realize with just all the individual one-on-one -on -one interactions you have. So, you know, do you have alumni that have younger siblings that are coming to UVA this year that you can reach out to and connect with them one-on-one? -on -one? I got to do that the other day with um, a, friend, one, a friend of mine from UVA, his younger sister is coming. And so just talking to her about her interests and things and and if, if I were a club president connecting with her, I'd love to tell her about my club, but also, you know, connect her to other clubs that are gonna be a best fit for her. And so I think when y'all all come into it with that mindset of just trying to connect one-on-one -on -one with whatever students you can as they come there, come your way from all different, for all different reasons, um, just getting them connected and plugged in so they can find that belonging and community um, quickly uh, is just great. So things to keep in mind. Um, Oh, thanks for coming, Josh. Yeah, enjoy your meeting. And okay, questions. Does anyone have any questions? I'll wait a couple minutes and see if you have any questions that you wanna post in the group. And again, if you don't have questions now, but they pop up later, please don't hesitate to just email us at studentengagement at virginia.edu and we will get back to you. So does anyone have any questions? on marketing your org, on visibility. Tim, what's up? Great, thanks. Um, all right, I'm gonna let y'all post questions as I just wrap up and talk about a few resources. So Michelle mentioned these last time, if you already tuned in, um, but I mean, you're obviously here because y'all are in the Facebook live group, but when we save this video 
later. Um, just, just a reminder, the Student Org Officers Facebook group is live and it's going great. There's over 350 student leaders in there, which is amazing. Please join it. Please use this group. This is for you. This is for you all to connect with each other. So we'd really love to be you know, talking even less in there and have y'all just posting and sharing things. So, um, so yeah, just know that that's there for you as a resource throughout this year. Um, and you, you know, you can invite any of your officers. It's open to whoever. Um, also check out the leadership library. It's, it's on the at UVA homepage under campus links. It's a collab site. We were adding all sorts of resources and things there. We actually just added a link today for um, diversity, equity, and inclusion work and and things that you can you can do to um, to work on on equity and inclusion within your organization. So this is a a group. Blah, it's a compilation of resources that the Office for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion has put together. And it's really great, really comprehensive, um, lots of suggestions for things y'all can watch and read and do to learn and to learn together. So highly encourage you to check that out. Um, take advantage of CIO chats. Um, you should have gotten an email from one of us. And so hope to get to connect with you one-on-one. -on -one. We can get to know you better and the needs of your org and, and any questions you have. So. So yes, uh, I'm looking forward to that with you all. And then there's all sorts of additional resources available on our website too. So check that out. And here's a list of our leadership library topics. So again, a lot of different things on here. There's also a, a document on recruiting new members. So I encourage you to check that out. You might have to be a little more creative with it right now um, in this time of COVID, but um, yeah, I encourage you to look at that. And last but not least, find us on social media. So let's see, any other questions? Danielle said, my CIO hosts students that are traveling from far away, so we might not be able to run in the fall. How can we market in the fall without losing traction? Mm, that's a great question. Y'all, if, um, if you're not able to have events or you just feel like because of certain circumstances or students that are traveling or like I, I know some students are international or maybe struggling with Zoom if, they're li if they're, they are living in other countries and still trying, still doing online classes and things, um, just do whatever you can to build community. I think connecting with the current members that you have and making them feel valued as people, checking in on them, um, uh, you know, sending an email. Most people can get email, so brainstorming via email or Zoom or just, just having key touch points. I would just brainstorm a couple of touch points so that you're still regularly checking in with your membership as you decide in your leadership how you want to move things forward. Uh, and it's okay to be at a slower pace right now and for the fall um, until you decide, you know, what you want to do in the spring or, you know, just take it, take it day by day, take it week by week, keep your own mental, emotional, spiritual, all those health things in mind, as well as that of your members and always come back to your mission and what's most important. And um, I know I feel like I'm rambling, but, um, but yeah, I, I would just, just keep that in mind and try to stay connected with, with your members as, as people. I think that's gonna help prevent any loss of, of momentum and um, empower your other officers to do that as well. Maybe if you divide and conquer and reach out to people and then try to touch base and have a meeting and see where people are at in their feels with life and with the club and ideas that they have. And you can just, just um, Play it by ear. That's kind of what this fall is going to be all about, adaptability and flexibility and all the things. So um, where's a good place to find info about how we can safely run our org? Um, also a great question. So stay tuned. We're sending out an email this week um, trying to um, simplify a little bit all of the COVID guidelines so that you all know within like which parameters and guidelines to operate as it relates to your student organizations. 
So stay tuned for that. Um, and also please don't hesitate to bring up some of these questions in your one-on-one. -on -one. Danielle, I hope you're able to connect with um, one of us in, in, that, in that medium. We can chat with you over Zoom and um, talk with you about your specifics a little bit, but um, very good questions. Yeah. Y'all, it has been a joy. This is so much fun for me. Um, I love seeing your questions pop up and um, just getting to interact with you in this space. So stay tuned. We're going to be doing more of these. If you have any tips, questions, feedback, um, please let me know. Um, I would love to hear anything and all the things. And yeah, any last questions before we close out? And I wish you well on this Tuesday. Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna peace out. But thanks, y'all. It's been real. Um, uh, I'll post make sure this is posted on the Facebook group. And we will catch you next time. Bye.